it's Jacob and welcome back to another video. Today, I will be showing you how to host a Vault Hunter server from your very own computer and how to join onto it with your friends, so let's get right into it. To start off, you need to have installed Vault Hunters on CurseForge. I'm not going to show you how to install CurseForge, although it's pretty simple. Just go to their website, link in description, click download or scroll down if you're on Mac or Linux, then click download, double click the file and then voila, you've got CurseForge. So anyways, when you're in CurseForge, head over to the near top left and click browse mod packs, search for Vault Hunters and click the top one download it for me it says play because i've already got it installed uh wait for it to install and then head back and then head to my mod packs and now click on vault hunters not play and then check what mod loader version it says although it should end in something like 61 or 93. now head back right click your mod pack click change version and then click this little arrow and memorize what version this is because you'll need it to have the same version for your server and then click cancel and now let's get into installing the server and now you want to create a folder where you're going to install your server for example i created mine in e and now you want to head over to the link in the description and find a server pack that matches the version that you're using on CurseForge. For example, the newest one right now for me is 6H and then here it says server files and it has 6H. So make sure it's the same version as the one on CurseForge and it says server files. Now click download. Wait for it to download. And for now, just install it where you're going to have your server. So click save and wait for it to download. And now it should appear here. And what you want to do with this is right click it and then click extract all. And then click extract. And once it's finished, you can delete this old zip file and now it did install in here but what I'm gonna do is highlight all of it click Control and X and then click one up so vault onto server right click and then paste and just delete this empty folder and now you have the vault onto server pack nice now you want to download the right version of Forge. For example, this one is 4193 and the link in the description should bring you to a page that looks like this. To scroll down, click show all versions and then since this one says 40.1.93, you want to click this one which is 40.1.93. So click installer, wait for it. Click skip and now just put it here for now I guess and then it should install where your server is if you put it there but we'll delete it later anyway what you want to do is double click it and then this time you're not installing the client you're installing the server and you want to click the three dots and then you want to go where your vault hunter server is for example click this PC and then for me it will be E and then vault onto server and then you want to click open and then it should save as files already at the target directory but that does not matter what you want to do is click OK wait for it to install and you can now delete the old jar file because it won't do anything and now you have to install Java 17 for the sake of the instructions, Adoptium 17 was used. Java 17 LTS can be found in the link in the description. So, well, once you're here, you want to scroll down where it says 17.0.5 plus 8 
and then you're probably using Windows so you want to come over here click JDK and now it should show you an MSI you can put it anywhere you want for now I'll just put it in here wait for it to download and once it's downloaded you want to double click it and then click next and click next and click install and then it might ask you uh, do you want it to allow to make changes click yes and then click finish and now once it's installed you can delete the MSI file that you downloaded you don't have to but you can and now well, come back to your server and now find run.bat. Now, wait just a second. Just before you edit run.bat, you need to make sure you have file extensions shown. So, to do that, you need to click view at the top, show, and then this has to be ticked file name extensions. And now, what you want to do is come back, click run.bat, right click it, and then show more options and then click rename and change dot bat to dot text and then it might give you a warning but just click yes and now double click run dot text and this should appear and now what you want to do is highlight java at user jvm args dot text and then paste in this code it'll be linked in the description and then click file and save and then you can exit and now you want to rename it again but this time you want to rename it back to dot bat and it might give you another warning click yes and now open user jvm args dot text and uncomment this line so delete the space and the hashtag and what this does it, it allows your server to use that much RAM but I do recommend changing that to this instead what this is is makes it a minimum of 4 gigabytes of RAM and the maximum of 8 gigabytes of RAM but be careful do not set more RAM than your computer has to check how much RAM your computer has, click at the same time, Control, Shift, and Escape, and then this should appear. And what you want to do is click the second one from the top, which is Performance, and then click Memory. And in the top right, it should show how much memory you have. So if you have less than 8 gigabytes, I do not recommend setting 8 gigabytes as your maximum. And finally, what you want to do is save it. So you can click File and then Save, or just do Control and S. And now you want to click Run.bat and wait for about 30 seconds. And hopefully it worked for you too. If it didn't work, make sure you didn't make any mistakes. But it should say press any key to continue. So for example, space, I don't know. And now the server will mostly works. What you want to do now is uh, double click eula.txt which just appeared and then instead of false you want to change this to true and then control s save that and now once you run this your server should work and be fully functional. Just be patient. And it's running. Well done. I mean, that's your server. But there are a few more steps you need to take. Like, for example, you want to whitelist yourself. So to do that, in this window down here, type slash whitelist. And then your Minecraft name. So for me, it would be JK47 Koala. And then enter. And then it should whitelist you. Finally, your server is finished, but wait, how did I join it? Huh? 
Ah, if you want to join the server from your computer, you want to click multiplayer and then click add server and then type in this 127.0.0.1 and then that's your server and you can join it. But it's not the same if you want one of your friends to join it, for example, from a different computer. So to do that, it's a little different. But what you want to do is open up command prompt. To do this, simply just press the Windows key and just search up for command prompt and click enter. And now with no spaces whatsoever, type in IP config enter. And near the middle, it should show like IPv4 address, then a bunch of dots, and then a number. You want to know that number, and just for now, I'm going to copy it. And now I'm going to X out of command prompt. And now on a different computer, you do add server, that number, colon, 25565, and then click done. And that's how to connect to the server from a different computer. And now you are finally finished. Woo, nice. Have a great day. Goodbye.